Have you ever wondered what the normal testosterone level is for your age? I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna review some new research digging into what testosterone levels are on average for men between the ages of 20 and 44. So according to the American Urological Association, low testosterone levels are less than 300 nanograms per deciliter. And in order to officially diagnose low testosterone, you have to have two serum total testosterone testosterone levels in the early morning. And we say early morning because among men with traditional sleep patterns, meaning you usually sleep between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., your peak testosterone values occur between 3 and 8 a.m. And those levels tend to decrease quite significantly throughout the day. Particularly, they've looked at total testosterone levels at 4 p.m. in men who are 30 to 40 years old, and they found that they're 20 to 25 percent lower than measurements taken at 8 a.m. And why do you take two? Well, that's because there's really significant variability between testosterone levels, even if they're from you. And this has actually been shown in research that repeat testosterone levels can vary between 65 to 153% between tests. And when you use two measurements, this is actually reduced to somewhere between 30 and 43%. The problem with this 300 nanogram per deciliter value is that it was derived from testosterone replacement trials that were done in men above the age of 45. Also, we know that testosterone levels decline with age. And lastly, cutoffs vary depending on the society you're looking at. So while the American Neurological Association says 300, there are societies that go as low as 200 and societies that say cutoffs are as high as 350 nanograms per deciliter. So I know in my practice, there's tons of young men who come in talking to me about having symptoms of low testosterone. And what are those symptoms? Well, they can be fatigue, low sex drive, difficulty with erections, having reduced muscle mass, maybe losing some armpit or pubic hair, or noticing that the testicles are smaller than usual, or even having hot flashes. Some guys will also have depression or difficulty with concentration and memory, or even notice that their breast tissue is enlarging. So these are serious symptoms, right? And really bothersome to a lot of people. So in these young guys, I'll often check their testosterone and get a level somewhere between 300 and 400 nanograms per deciliter. Now, while that's considered normal, overall, it might not actually be normal for them. And we've never really had great data to discuss what exactly is expected to be normal for them. And now we do. So in this study, a group of researchers pulled data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. And this is a survey that looks at a sample of people from around the United States that's supposed to be representative of the national demographics, meaning that they're the same kind of age breakdown, the same racial breakdown, and many other factors. So they looked at this survey from 2011 to 2016. And in this survey, they can gain all sorts of information, including interviews, physical examination values, and laboratory tests. So they specifically picked men between the ages of 20 to 44 who underwent an early morning testosterone level, somewhere between the times of 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then they broke down these men into five-year age groups, meaning 20 to 24, 25 to 29, and so on and so forth, up to 40 to 40. And pulling all this data, they got to about 1,500 men whose average age was about 32 years old. So what did they find? Well, they found that in the 25 to 29 year age group, that the mean testosterone was the highest, the average testosterone, and that was 514 nanograms per deciliter. And when you look at those who were 40 to 44, the group was the lowest of 430 nanograms per deciliter. They also found that for every single year you age, they saw a decrease in testosterone of 4.3 nanograms nanograms per deciliter. And then they decided, well, how do we do age-specific cutoff for low testosterone? Well, when they looked at the American Neurological Association guidelines, they looked at tertiles, meaning if you broke up the men in a certain age group, the first third of them would have testosterones at this level, the next third would have them in this level, and the last third would have them in this level. And it was kind of like a bell curve with the majority of the people being in the middle tertile. And so they looked at their data in the same way to decide what would be a age-specific cutoff. So so they found that the age-specific cutoff starting from 20 to 24 year olds all the way to 40 to 44 year olds was 409, 413, 359, 352, and 350. So this is a great starting point for a discussion about what is considered normal in your age group and where is kind of the beginning of normal considered. However, this is not a perfect study and there are some limitations. One is that we don't know if the men in the study actually had low testosterone because they didn't actually look if they had symptoms of low testosterone. So you would imagine that if you're getting 
getting a representative sample of the United States, there will be several men who have low testosterone. In fact, that may mean that the cutoff is actually a little bit higher if you look at only men who don't have low testosterone symptoms. Secondly, the NHANES database only got one serum testosterone level. And we know that if you have an abnormal testosterone level, 30 to 34% of those men will have a normal testosterone level over the next 24 hours. So you're kind of over-diagnosing maybe a third of people with low testosterone. So in an ideal world, you'd get both those numbers and maybe average those or look at the highest number to get a true normal value. So while this is interesting and useful, if you are having low testosterone symptoms, please make an appointment with your doctor, your urologist, your endocrinologist to discuss what this means and if you are a candidate for treatment for low testosterone. And that doesn't always mean getting testosterone. It may mean doing a host of other things. So I've talked about low testosterone many times in the past, including what to do to boost your testosterone levels, what testosterone replacement therapy is and how it works, symptoms, lots of stuff. So check out my testosterone playlist to learn more. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. It means the world to me. I totally appreciate it. And if you want a reminder to take care of yourself, check out my take care of yourself water bottle and coffee mug where you can remind yourself to take care of yourself because you're worth it. Thank <laughs> you.